scatter plots are the best way to visualize two variables at the same time and with the intention of finding some association between those variables or first step in attributing a causal relationship. So as before, once we have a graphical depiction of our data, it can inform our statistical calculation. When it comes to two variables and scatter plots, a good measure that's a, a statistical summary of a linear relationship is known as the correlation coefficient. R is a correlation coefficient that measures the direction and strength of a linear relationship between two quantitative variables. If the relationship is nonlinear or uh, there is no relationship, or if there are um, not two quantitative variables but a mix of, of quantitative and qualitative variables, um, then we cannot use the correlation coefficient. So this is very specific. Correlation coefficient is a measure of the direction and strength of a linear relationship between two con quantitative variables. The correlation coefficient will always be between negative and one, negative one and one inclusive. What would this look like? Here we have variables x and y, and this is their observations. The observations here are actually, let's go think about um, question one before. If I was to put a line on this graph, it would perfectly touch all those points. So this is perfectly linear. It's perfectly linear, it's a strong linear relationship, and it's a positive strong linear relationship. In this case, R, which I'm not showing it to calculate right now, but we will in a future unit, R would be positive one. The exact opposite of that is in this example here, X and Y are perfectly negatively correlated. And in this case, the R would be the most extreme negative one. So what would it look like? What would the, the distribution or the scatter plot look like if it wasn't the extreme of plus one or minus one? Well, here's an example. of a positive R if I was to ask you come up with a value for R what would you say? Mm, maybe something like um, point 0.7 in this case it's got to be positive but not 1 exactly closer to 1 than um, it is to zero, I think 0.7 might be um, uh, a good guess at what R could be. Here's a negative relationship. I can imagine putting a line through those points to approximate 
a line between those points. That line would be going down negative, but it would be really missing many of those points. So the R wouldn't be strong. The strongest the R could be would be negative 1. So I'm going to say this R is something like negative 0 0.5. So what would it R look like? Sorry, what would R be for a scatter plot that looked like this? In this case, the R would be um, not negative one or positive one. If I was to put a line through this data, the line would be very flat. And in fact, the relationship wouldn't be positive or negative, and it would be very weak, wouldn't it? In this case, there is no linear relationship, we say. And if we were to calculate the R, we'd probably get zero. How is the R calculated? Well, the best way to show you would be by illustrating with an example. This is a nonlinear relationship, different from no relationship. This is nonlinear, so there is a relationship here, but it's not a line, it's a curve. We talked about curve relationships before. If I tried to fit a line through that data, it would be very weak. It would fit best through the data around here, and as above, our R will turn out to be zero.